Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and this is another Focus on Tools video and in this video we'll be having a look at paint mixing. So when I first started out um, in uh, my career of building models um, pretty much the only model paint you could get was Humbrol enamel and it's still one of the better um, brands of paint um, over recent years people have largely moved away from uh, enamel to acrylics um, for various reasons um, a lot of people don't like to put enamels um, through their airbrush um, I'll be honest uh, I tend not to um, but enamel paints are still um, amongst the best paints for brush painting uh, and if you thin them down um, they can give you some really good coverage the other disadvantage obviously is the drying time um, is considerably longer than an acrylic so for a number of reasons the hobby has largely moved to um, acrylic paints but when I first started out you bought an enamel paint and then to mix the paint you've got a cocktail stick or a toothpick depending on what part of the globe you come from and you'd uh, get a screwdriver and prise the lid off give it a bit of a mix get a big lump of stuff on the bottom of your uh, um, cocktail stick and put it on your upturned lid and dip your brush in that and then a little bit of the oily bit and mix it up a little bit and slap it on and that's how you painted your models um, yeah uh, well it, it, it worked at the time um, then um, in the 80s um, people started upgrading to paint stirrers um, this um, uh, Tamiya has something like this um, this isn't the Tamiya one but I think it might be made in the same factory um, but it basically has a paddle at one end and it has a little scoop at the other end um, but effectively it's a, a quite an expensive cocktail stick um, and it does the same job um, you put it in your paint and you give it a stir and over a period of time you eventually get it mixed up um, the shortfall of that is it's quite time consuming and you don't get a good mix um, um, and eventually what happens is your paint starts off quite thin when you're using it and then as you get further down the paint pot it gets thicker and thicker and you need more thinner to use it and that's what happens if you stir paint realistically now I'm not sure when these first came out um, but uh, this is the master tools um, paint stirrer. Um, Badger have one um, which is effectively the same thing just a different colour again I think made in the same factory just put a different label on it so I don't know whether Badger brought it out first or Master Tools or, or what but um, the, the paint stirrer has been out for a little while now and I've had this for several years um, and basically it is uh, battery operated um, and it has a small motor in it that you switch on which makes this shaft um, and the little paddle at the end spin like that uh, and this makes a big difference to stirring your paint so if you're still at that stage in your hobby where you're stirring with a cocktail stick maybe you're putting um, um, a ball bearing in to, to help agitate it but still stirring it you really should consider one of these they are fabulous they're not expensive uh, and they're, they're worth worth their weight in gold so let's just demonstrate how easy and quick they are so this is an acrylic humbrol paint um, which hasn't been used for quite considerable time so I know it's well settled and as you can see we've got a lot of dark oil at the top uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and give it a mix slowly to start with just so I can feel how lumpy it is and this isn't too bad actually and then we just flick it on there's only one speed making sure I get to the edges
And there we have it. It's as quick as that. So that paint is now ready to be put in your palette and thinned down to the consistency you want. Now as this is a Humbrol acrylic, I can just put it in some water to give it a clean, but you can use whatever thinner or cleaning agent you like. It's as simple as that. It's really, really quick, saves you a load of time. It's mess free. Um, you don't get paint all over the place. You don't get it dripping down the sides. Um, it's just a brilliant tool um, that does a very simple but effective job um, and saves you a load of time and ensures that your paints are, are well mixed from top of the um, top of the bottle to the bottom of the bottle. Um, if you've not got one, I recommend that you seek one out. The only disadvantage of them is that the paddle is too big to go into a dropper bottle. Um, so unless you're going to do something to make that paddle smaller um, that won't fit in a dropper bottle so you're still having to shake these for a, a minute or two hope that was helpful thanks for looking in and i will see you soon